guys welcome back to my channel I'm sorry that I've been absent for the past week or so you guys probably haven't been able to tell because I filmed or I pre-filmed last week's video which by the way thank you guys so much for your feedback and I have been listening to your requests so my next video I'm going to be filming is my handbag collection video so stay tuned for that but today I want to bring back another monthly video that I do here on my channel which is an unbagging video for the Ipsy Glam Bag now I am not gonna lie I have cheated this month because it came last week and I opened it on camera but the lighting was terrible so I had to refilm it for you guys and so I have seen the products and I actually used a lot of them today trying to kind of compensate for the fact that I already opened them for um, like open the whole package so I will tell you as we go along what um, products I'm using on my face today and I hope you guys don't mind that I am still also getting over a sickness so if you guys can hear that in my voice a little bit that is why I have a show this weekend and I've been trying to do vocal rest as much as possible but I'm still a little bit congested and my voice is almost back completely but it's just missing a little bit of it It has a little bit of raspy but um yeah so we're just gonna show you what's in our bag this month so let's get into the video so starting off the bag is super cute this month it has graffiti all over it says makeup and ipsy and style and a ton of cool things this bag is just very bright and beautiful this month it's very colorful and I just love how ex how much effort they put into making this bag I think it's just really really cute so inside my bag this month I have I'm not gonna lie I have a pretty good bag this month I'm really happy with everything that's in here except for maybe like one but I'll use it anyway so we're gonna jump right into what's on my face first so for eyeshadow we got these we I mean all I think everybody got in their ipsy glam bag a variation of the stuff that I have but um, I guess I um, got the Urban Decay Lounge Eyeshadow. This is a duochrome eyeshadow. And um, I'm not really sure what the color is, but I think it might be the color Forest. So let me show you what's inside. If you guys can kind of see it on my eyes, it's like a red, blue, green duochrome eyeshadow. This is the color here in my hand. And you can really see the blue in the pack or in like the pot itself. Um, but it's actually a lot redder in person like when you actually apply it it kind of shows up more of a bronze color but you can kind of see that dual chrome on my eyes so I'm gonna swatch it for you guys this is it on my finger don't mind the band-aid and I'm terrible at swatching as you guys know but there is my attempt so it's a really pretty color it kind of comes as like a burnt reddish orange color and has that little hint of blue green which is really pretty and I wasn't sure how it was gonna look all over my eyelid but I'm actually digging it it's kind of like a nice smoky alternative with a little bit of a brightness to it so that is what I have so far and um, I'm really happy with this product I think it, the formula is great it's very creamy very smooth and very very pigmented as you guys can tell because I did a very light swatch there on my hand so now let's jump into what's next the next thing I have on my eyes is an eyeliner and I got the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in Swerve which I love the name of that, that's super cute. I love ColourPop items in general but um, I've never bought an eyeliner from them. I have their lip products and a couple of eyeshadows. So this is just their black cream gel liner. It's very very creamy. Let me just do a quick little line there for you. It's pretty black. I just put it in the tight line today um, so I could get a little bit of definition on my upper eyes. But for the most part, I use, that's like the only reason I use liner. I'm not a big person who likes to wear um, liner on the top of my eyes. Because my eyes, I like to, them to look very big and very open. So at most, I will just put it in my tight line. So yeah, so far, so good with the two products. I really like the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. And I like this combo together. It just looks very quick and effortless. But it's still very pretty on the eyes. The last product that came in my bag that I have on my face is a blush. This is the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks blush and my color is peach pink which is on the back of this packaging. Let me show you the color. So this color reminds me a lot of Max Peachy Keen. I don't know if you're gonna pick up on that. It is a peachy pink with some gold shimmer and on so the cheeks it looks very pretty. This is a very pigmented blush so a little bit goes a long way. Don't overpack it because I did that by accident but I think the color is very very pretty. It's a very warm very summery and I think it's perfect for this entire summer so I'll be using that a lot 
This next product I have not used yet because I'm saving it for my trip. I'm going to Disney World in about two weeks, so I am saving that for my carry-on. Um, it's the Hey Honey 24-7 Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream. So that is the packaging. I haven't smelled this. I think it's sealed. But even if it smells bad, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I love the facial um, peels and masks that they do, so I'm really excited to use this for my trip. And of course, last but certainly not least, the last product I got in my bag this month is a body scrub. This is Frank Body Original Body Scrub. And it says, hey babe, this is a coffee scrub. Don't drink it. Rub it on your bod. Um, so this is the packaging. It comes in kind of like a looking, like kind of like a package of coffee. Um, you can only get it on frankbody.com, but if you use the code ipsybabe, you get 10% off. So... That's cool, and I'm not a big body scrub person with um, like coffee scented things. I like using like fruity or scented things in the shower. Coffee kind of smells weird to me on my body, but I love the smell of coffee, so I'll still use it anyway just because I'm not going to put a good item to waste, and I'll try it out for you guys. So let me know if you want a review on this, um, and on any of these products, but on this in particular, because I will try it for you all. So that is my Ipsy Glam bag this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty short and to the point, but I didn't want to waste a ton of your time. Um, I hope that you guys don't mind that I opened it before the video today. I promise I won't do that next month, but I opened it trying to do a video for you guys, but it was like super dark and I'm trying to use natural lighting, but I didn't have the right ca camera settings on and it just it did not look good. So, so sorry about that, you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. I will talk to you all very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and please subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.